Hey guys, Wade here. Hey, I drew up this test piece that I'm going to first draw out and then I'll probably plasma cut it later on. It's not my design, it's my buddy Marco's. He used this to test the dimensions on his Crossfire plasma cutter when he first got it a couple of years ago. I stole this off his site and then I just mimicked uh, uh, what he had as far as dimensions. I thought it was a pretty good idea. So I just drew it up quickly in Fusion 360. This is the CAM post processor here that uh, uh, you know, I created a, a G-code file from. So I'm trying to get this process down and learn it as well. Uh, you know, I've done a fair amount of drawing and modeling in Fusion 360, but I haven't done the, any of the manufacturing slash CAM post processing. So I'm trying to learn that. So we'll jump over to fire control. Here you can see I've already loaded it up. I've put the file in there and uh, I've had to do a, a number of these to test it out. I would like to draw components out um, for uh, modeling. Uh, I use this as a glorified plotter. Uh, a number of things that I'm doing I'll need to actually be able to do that so I want to get this process down. So one of the things I had to do was take the torch height control off uh, I kind of overlooked that at the beginning. And uh, yes, my axes are zeroed. So again, I'm just going to draw this out on a piece of cardboard. We're going to see how she does. Um, uh, hopefully it works this time. And then, like I said, later on, I'll probably cut it out of actual steel. And try that out and then test the dimensions. I, I don't expect with the way that this is set up because I didn't realize when I initially 3D printed this for the pin holder uh, it's gonna have to be a lot longer and a little bit different configuration because this magnetic mount only comes down a certain distance because the torch uh, the machine torch is so long that um, this this height doesn't really lend itself to using uh, this adapter for the pen. So I'll have to redo that. All right, here we go. Clearly with the pen sticking out that far, you know, it distorts it, but I'm just looking for a general idea of how this thing is working. You can see it's following along here. in the fire control software. And there she is. First successful print, if you will. All right, hey, thanks for watching and I'll continue to do tests uh, before I actually go with a live fire and a live cut of metal don't want to waste it. Hey, thanks a lot. Cheers.